Speaking to newsmen in Parliament hours after the purported termination letter was made public amid denials, Hassan Tampoli stated emphatically that the MD in question has been relieved of his position. Because it's a company, so it's regulated under the Companies Act. So the letter is written to the board chairman, and the board chairman will now convene a board meeting at which um, the, all the necessary steps will be undertaken pursuant to the Companies Act. So it's confirmed. Around that this is because of the tassel over the facility we went to inspect today with the parliamentary telecom of which you were there. When we put the question to you there and himself, he said he was not aware. Did you see that in the letter? It's not in the letter, but a lot of things happened. This is governor. Yes, yeah, so the president has the prerogative to appoint and has the prerogative to relieve of the people of their positions. When the president is appointing, he doesn't give reasons. And by the same parity of reason, the president doesn't give reasons when he's relieving people of their positions. So this is something that has been going on in this country, not today. So nothing has changed. The Committee for Roads and Transport told the Magdan private jet terminal at the Kotoka International Airport to inspect the facilities and to better understand the tussle between the entity and Ghana Airport. The embattled MD of the company, Yao Kwakwa, who conducted affairs denied knowledge of his sacking when asked. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, my appointment has not been terminated. So if you have a uh, fresh if you please, please, please uh, give it to me. Will you be surprised if that's the case? Will you be surprised if that's the case, though? Um, I don't know about it. So we, uh, when, I get, yeah, exactly. when I get to that bridge, I'll cross it. After the tour, the chairman and ranking member of the committee made known their observations. It is clear that in terms of the facilities here, uh, the company, Ghana Airport Company, is satisfied with whatever work that they have done. I think they are standing issues, uh, purely safety uh, protocols issue, which they have even initiated the process in resolving that matter. So there is not any serious matter that will be there to. I think the key, the, the biggest of it all is uh, Magdan Company sitting down with Ghana Airport Company to uh, do a negotiation as to the fee that they will charging them for operating this place. I think that is what is outstanding. I, I don't think this is a big deal and uh, we are giving them the benefit of the doubt. I'm sure uh, they should be able to, I believe they should be able to resolve this matter mm -hmm. amicably as soon as possible so that they can give them the go ahead to start operating. He insisted in, uh, on knowing when Magdan will be allowed to operate the terminal because the operation of the private jet is different from operating a VIP lounge. Uh, that is why I am unhappy that they cannot tell us when, because I'm saying that there's nothing in this world that you want to do that you cannot have timeline. You can always have timeline. If you don't have timeline for anything, you either don't intend to do the thing. So I am still attained with the fact that the, the ministry or Ghana Airport Company or Ghana Civil Aviation is unable to tell us the timeline within which they are operating. I don't take answers such as uh, uh, as soon as possible because uh, uh, it's, uh, it's only people who don't intend to do anything with their lives that say that uh, as soon as possible. As soon as possible must have a deadline. Uh, so I am looking forward to get a clarity from the ministry and the agencies as to when this will be resolved one way or the other. On the floor of parliament, the Minister for Fisheries and Aquaculture briefed the House on the automation process of the supply of premixed fuel across the country after a question from Lejukuku MP Benjamin Ayukunate. The National Premier's Fuel Secretariat has taken steps which have brought about a decline in the diversion of premier's fuel. NPFS collaborated with the National Petroleum Authority to install tracking device on tracks which supply premier's fuel to the landing beaches. The ministry is in the process of automating the distribution system to stop diversion and hoarding of the product. Some ministers, uh, notably ministers for education and fisheries and aquaculture, are on the floor of the house to answer quite a number of questions for members of parliament. These questions have been pending for some time now. Today, uh, members took turns to ask, ask these questions, uh, which the ministers provided answers to. Reporting for City News from Parliament, my name is Duke Mansopoko.